Hi Aries, welcome in everyone. Thank you for viewing me today. We are doing your general reading. This is going to be good for the collective, for the beautiful sign of Aries. Is it real or is it not? It feels real. Should I do it or shouldn't I? I've been looking at your energies. New beginnings has flown out, the moon. I've been looking at all the cards I've been shuffling and I thought to myself, what's going on with my beautiful Aries? We are in a Mercury retrograde. Lion's Gate is here right now. I feel that this is a big energy right now for you guys choosing wisely for new beginnings. Okay, I'm running the money. Here we go. This is good, you guys, for all placements. So whatever resonates best for you. If it sounds like your current energies, this is your reading. My name is Elena. Welcome in and welcome back to my beautiful Aries. Okay, you guys, I already know what I'm feeling. I always go by how I feel in the cards. Happy Friday. I feel that there's a big energy around you right now, Aries, for looking through the fog, looking through the things in your life that you think are important, but are they really? Is this really what I want? It feels right, but I don't know if I want it because of the retrograde. You guys are in a big power of your own manifestations right now, but be careful on what you're choosing. Memories of love, things that are touching your heart. Okay, Spirit Guides, current energies for my beautiful Aries. You're harvesting everything right now, Aries. You're about to harvest everything, but I feel that right now in your energies is a lot of confusion. I feel you know what you want, but at the same time, there's something that keeps tugging at you that you're starting to question. But let's look. Current energies for Aries, please. Thank you. This reading is for, for the sign of Aries. Current energies. Thank you. I'm sorry the way they kind of slap me whenever I do your reading. All right, you guys, here we go. Conflict and defeat smacked at me. All right, here we are. Firm foundation. Uh, there's a mountain before you right now if this is your reading that you want to climb. But first right now, I feel that you're really looking at certain situations. Is this really what I want? I always go by how I feel in the cards. You know, it's like you're in this beautiful energy of staying grounded but you're not sure you want to climb the mountain before you at the moment. Emotionally, you're withdrawing from certain situations. You're very confused about certain things if this is your reading. I'm not here to confuse you. I'm here to show you something about a higher vibration and bigger light and the things you really want in life. Really looking at the shadow side. Hmm. Aries, I'm going to say something to you. The energies right now are just a little chaotic. There's a reason why we are in a Mercury retrograde during Lion's Gate. They want everyone to look at the negative so we can see the positive. They want you to really analyze certain situations in your life that you want for a bigger and better tomorrow. You're very ambitious, Aries. There's a reason you're the emperor. That's, that's your major arcana. There's something around you right now that you're choosing, but they want to make sure that you withdraw emotionally, keep your feet on the ground, and start looking at the things of negative aspects in your life. It's going to show you the positive for a bigger and better tomorrow. I have the Empress and I have material and spiritual prosperity looking beyond your two fountains of emotion. And then I have the universe is trying to push you towards something is the things in life that you truly want for triumphs, for victory, for success, for the things in life that are going to make you happy. But the Empress is showing up telling me that this is a time for you for nurturing. You know, the Empress is the angel of abundance, but the Empress is all about nurturing and tending to its needs with love. And I feel that right now you're at this, a little bit of a stalemate energy that emotionally there's a part of you that's tugging at you, but there's also a part of you that's looking at some negative aspects of your life. I'm here to tell you as a tarot reader and what I do that the universe is trying to show you something about what you truly want in life, Aries. You know, just because you were attached to it from the past doesn't mean you have to stay too attached to it right now that Lion's Gate is here to bring our own manifestations into fruition in the very near future. Let's start going, here we go. I have your material harvest, it's all around you, Aries. But there's a lot of energies around you that are very disruptive. And I feel that sometimes it's an energy around you of it's something you don't wanna face right now. And I'm gonna tell you that's okay. I feel that if you're this, because I know this reading is not going to resonate with everybody, but I do have certain messages for certain people. There's a reason why you're in a little bit of a stalemate if you are in one. 
about something in your life that perhaps you're questioning, is this really what I want? Is this something that's going to make me happy? But you see, the Empress is showing up telling me that you need to nurture your own energies right now and just nurture the, your own seeds that you're planting. That the energies that are in the environment and in the atmosphere because of the retrograde are stopping everybody to look at negative aspects of things in their life that aren't serving us anymore so we can bring in things for bigger and better tomorrows. More awareness, more of a higher consciousness for the things and for humanity, mankind, for bigger and better tomorrows. I keep going. Transformation, it's been showing up in all the readings. And then I have your vision, your third eye chakra. And this is where we start to envision what we want. But you see, transformation is peeling off a layer. That there's a part of you that you need to strip back and look at the things in life that are most important to you for change. Your heart chakra. And a time of self-reflection, rest and rejuvenation. Aries, if you've been going through an energy lately of there's a part of you that it's something you truly want, it's going to make you happy, but at the same time, there's also a day or an energy or an hour that you're just starting to question it. It's, just, it, 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 it's because you're not supposed to make a decision right now. You're supposed to nurture something and see how it's going to flow, see how it's going to grow. There's an energy around you right now teaching you something about your own firm foundation and what you really want in life and what mountain you're about to climb. That the only time we can come to a place of a resolution and a decision is when, is when we feel whole. And right now, I feel with what I'm seeing here, conflict and defeat and disruption, I feel everybody's energies right now are very back and forth. That there's something you're about to be shown and it's a new part of you, a new awakening a new Aries that's about to be here for what you truly want to harvest for tomorrow but what I'm going to say to you as a tarot reader is right now I want you to get some grounding energy around you and get some rest and rejuvenation and don't make any big choices in your life at the moment tap into your own heart right now and what is making you happy for the day now, you guys, I know what I'm feeling here, and I just feel like my guides are trying to tell me that everything is leading you in a new direction for what you truly want in life, but trying to make a decision right now in your energies is really back and forth. And there are certain things that you're giving birth to, new ideas, new things in your life that you want, but the Empress is always about nurturing it and letting the things come to us. Because the Empress always pulls everything in from its own love and beauty and nurturing energy. That whatever you're going through in life right now is for you to reflect before you act. For you to look at things in your life that aren't healthy for you anymore so you can see the positive things that you want to pull in for tomorrow. If that sounds like something you've been going through, then this is your reading. I'm going to look at your recent past now. And the recent past is just a few messages. I'm not going to dig. It's general reading. And then I'll look at what's coming in for you in the next few weeks. So let's look at your recent past. I'm going to go, I want to go, I want to go, <laughs> I want to go here. I saw the green in my head, so I'm using a green deck. I have, okay, you guys, I really do not know who's under these decks. I swear on my life, but I have the seven of cups. Recent past, wow, I think I want that. That looks really good. The seven of cups is very disillusioned about choices that we've made with our heart. Choices that we're making with our heart. Not sure what we want. There's only really one beautiful thing in here, and it's always love, pure love. Five of Swords and the Moon. I feel that recently behind you, there were things that you kept replaying in your mind. You didn't have your clarity on, but seeds had been planted in your head about some type of negativity. Very disillusioned about the choices you were going to make behind you. But there was something that you had to grab, and it was a golden opportunity, and take charge of it. This is a solid ace, you guys, and it's the best ace we can get. And here you are. And a lot of, a lot of chapters here, uh, closures for new opportunities of love. Aries, there was something behind you recently that you had to really make your choice. And it had to do with what you really wanted with your heart. Not with things that have been planted in your mind from the past. Not that things that have been said to you, oh, well, maybe you should take that or be better for you. You had to learn something about taking charge of the situations and what you really wanted for your own happiness. 
There's a lot of tough choices, but I think that there was something recently behind you that woke you up about certain things in your life, and they were completions. You're all about new beginnings. Four of Cups, being very resistant to something with your heart. And the Two of Cups, what is it that you're truly connected to with your heart? Wow, big back and forth energy. I feel you had to get the ball and just run with it. And I feel there was something behind you that you had to nurture. You had to realize that if you wanted something new and solid in your life, Aries, you had to get there with a little bit at a time. And that right now around you, spirit guides are telling you that harvesting is all before you, but right now it's a time of nurturing. To look at the things in your life that you think you want, look at the negative aspects of it. It's going to bring you into the positive about what you're grateful for and do everything with your heart right now. Spirit Guides, recent past for Aries. What do I need to see for messages about their recent past? <laughs> Thank you. Anything else? Recent past for the sign of Aries. Okay, good, perfect. That's all I need. You. The Emperor and the Knight of Earth. Now, the Knight of Earth is a very slow, methodical knight. Really wanted it all, Aries. You're trying to create everything, the magician. But there were certain situations in your life that you really had to look at, and it was about the things in your life that you were protecting your own energy from. What am I feeling here, Aries? You were going back and forth. What were you going back and forth about? I'm sorry. I'm being nosy. What you really wanted and what you deserved. Ah, oh. well, Aries, when you're under the deck, it's telling me that, and it's with the Knight of Earth. So the Knight of Earth, a very brave knight, but it's very slow, very methodical. I feel my spirit guides are telling me recently behind you, you had to make some choices about what you wanted to create and what you wanted for your own life. But there was something that you had to go through. It was teaching you. You. It was time for you to come behind your own fire energy, like. There was something that you wanted to go after that you wanted, but this is like wounded energy. Like, I'm, I don't know if I want that because what happens if, what if, what if there was something that you had to take the ball by the, the bull by the horn. You, you had to get back in your own energy of conquering it, but it was one sure steady foot at a time because here comes the Knight of wands, a big fast knight, queen of swords, queen of evaluation. Oh, you've been showing up in all the readings and the devil. There was something that kept pulling you in the wrong direction recently behind you, but I feel that you were more determined to go after what you wanted than taking the time out to evaluate certain situations. You know, we all do it. It's a, it was a test of the things in life that kept pulling us in out of our own desires or wants and needs that we really don't need, addictions, unhealthy relationships, unhealthy people. You were determined, I think, to go after everything, but there was something recently behind you that your intuition was telling you to slow down and evaluate before you jumped. But you jumped. Eight of Cups, a lot of things came to a halt, meaning that I feel there were things you recently went behind to teach you something about the negative aspects and the positive. And the Eight of Cups is telling me you started realizing that there were things that you went after that became toxic, that turned toxic, that it was something that it, it's not really what you wanted anyway. Perhaps you went after it out of ambition. But Eight of Cups is telling me it started making you realize that this isn't going to make me happy because the card in front of me is the world sideways coming into your current energies. Cycles are coming to closures, meaning that what's around you right now is everything that you envision you will prosper for tomorrow. But there's an energy around you right now for you to really look at the negative aspects in your life that keep pulling you in the shadows. It's time for you to come back into the positive aspects of what you want to create for a better Aries, for a bigger tomorrow. You know, everything that we create in our life is by our own actions and our own energy. That there's something around you right now showing you that there's always a bigger tomorrow, Aries. But before you climb that giant mountain, make sure you stay grounded. There's a lot of confusion around you right now, and I'm not here to demean or put anybody down, but there's something around you, Aries, teaching you that there's a part of you that's being, like, that's being pulled back, like an old skin, an old you. The bigger and better you is here, Aries. It's all around you. It's going, all of us are getting transformation, all the signs lately, telling you that it's time for you to stay grounded and reflect on what's most important to you because a new Aries is about to be born. That everything that you want to come into fruition is in your hands right now literally, that, I'm saying that because I have material harvest, that there's a part of you 
that you need to balance your own emotion with your own optimism. Understand that emotion has a way of pulling us in different directions. But it's also a place of understanding that our own optimism will pull us through anything in life that we truly want. Because the choices that you're making right now need be from the heart. They need to be from your heart. And understand that we can always go back to negative aspects because they're comfortable. But I feel my spirit guides want me to remind you that the universe is watching. We're all being watched and tested right now during this lion's gate. Because everything we put out there with a positive attitude and a higher vibration, we will start to create. Everybody is being tested about our own belief system right now. And yours is telling you to stay grounded and get ready to climb a new mountain, but do it in a higher vibration. And let go of the things that keep pulling you in the shadows. They're not what you want. They're not what you need. You're a bigger and better Aries. So stay grounded right now. Things will come to you in the next few weeks. It's going to be a rough ride. We're in Mercury retrograde. And then we have the full moon on the 19th of August in Aquarius. The full moon is the end of a cycle. Aquarius represents the end of difficult situations. Healing and a sense of renewal. All right, you guys. So whatever you're going through right now, stay grounded. And look at the negative aspects. They will bring you back into the positive. And ask yourself, is it something you really want? Make sure you listen to your heart because I see the heart chakra. Let's look at what's coming in for you now because you know it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> it always is. I look at life as an abundant, beautiful journey every day, no matter what I go through. And there's been some pretty rough times, but I always land on my feet because I have faith. And that is something I feel you need to have. Incoming energies next week to two weeks. I have the bone collector and this is catching your dreams. But the bone collector is about your own belief system. There's a compass next to you in the next few weeks telling me that your own belief system is what's going to pull everything in. Your own magic prayers are what's going to set everything into motion. That as long as you take charge of the situations for new beginnings, the sun will be upon you to climb any mountain. To be the gentle gardener and to nurture your dreams, your wishes, your desires, your eggs will soon hatch. I just took the ones underneath the deck, but I shuffle. I'll put them all back in. I'll let them fly out and talk to you. I love the dream catcher. The bone collector. The energy of wisdom. Faith. Belief. It shifts your compass. Spirit guides incoming for Aries. I feel something's about to be shown to you for new beginnings. That you're going to be back on top of your game. And you're going to be going in a new direction in the next week to two weeks. You just need to have more faith and belief in what it is that you truly want. Spirit guides... Spirit Guides, strongest incoming for Aries, week to two weeks. Thank you. What would you like to show me for Aries? Week to two weeks, strongest incoming energies for the sign of Aries. Thank you. Follow the energies. Oh, okay, gotcha. Sacred pool, <clears throat> heal the ouch, you're about to be rescue. rescued, the gentle gardener with the magic stream. Everything that you nurture in the right way in the next few weeks is going to come into fruition. You are being watched and you are being tested. We all are. That everything that you put into a place of belief, believing in miracles, Believing that anything can happen, it's going to set everything into the beautiful flow of what you want to harvest for tomorrow. Things will begin to come in life. Come in life. It's so weird. It says, come to life. But I heard, come in life. Everything's going to start to get moving. You guys, there's a hot air balloon and the ostrich is up and running, meaning that you're going to see something for what it is. I have the moonlight and venturing into the unknown. A new energy is coming in for you to follow your own intuition, Aries. To trust that your own belief system is going to flow in, in the right direction. But as I said earlier, I feel we are all being tested about the things in life that we truly want right now. And this is why ret retrograde is here during Lionsgate. And meaning if you don't follow your own belief system and make choices from your heart and believe that miracles can happen, I hear better luck next year. You guys, I'm, I, I am so in tune here and, you know, this is a gate opening for everyone right now to create all the things that they want, but we're all being tested about our belief system right now for transformation. 
slow and steady. I have the dragon's lair and follow the leader. Follow the energies, Aries. They're going to lead you somewhere. Spirit guides are telling me that it's time for you to take charge of situations with your own wisdom, with your own strength, with your own passion. But you need to move slow and steady. Telling you that slow and steady is always going to take you where you need to be, but you need to follow the energies in the next few weeks. They're going to lead you somewhere. Where are they going to lead you? Magic stream. The things that you are nurturing right now. And everything's about to come to life. Everything's going to start moving in the right direction. Balancing act. And this is the ship on the wire. I feel my, my spirit guides are trying to tell me to tell you that everything that you do in the next few weeks that comes at you is going to set everything into motion for new beginnings because this is card 11. That everything that you do in the right energy, the right faith, look at all the white light of faith and belief, will set your ship in the right direction. But if you don't have the faith and belief, how can anything get to moving? How can things come to life? That you're about to be tested about something and spirit guides are telling me in the next few weeks, you're gonna be shown something. You're gonna be shown the direction you need to take. Everything that you nurture in the right way with your heart, Aries, with your, with your own ambition in the right way to make sure that everything you do is with a higher level of faith and commitment Everything will play out in your favor. And spirit guides want me to tell you and watch the things that will come together. Now, you guys, I have certain messages for certain people. And I'm just here to say that everything that you do right now is about looking at the negative aspects to bring you back into the positive. Everything that you nurture right now with the Empress, the universe is watching how you nurture it so your eggs can come into fruition. They have little fairies on them. Everything is about to come to life. Sparks are going to start igniting. But my guides are telling me for you to follow the energies that come your way and make sure you move towards the things you truly want, slow and steady, and always, always, always be true to the sacred self. What is right for you? We must be true to thyself. We must do what is right for thyself. Meaning, we all know the difference between right and wrong. Every human being does. But we have free will and choices. My spirit guides are telling me if you nurture everything in the right way with love and gratitude, watch the things that are about to come your way and heal yourself from situations that have wounded you from the past. They are no longer serving you. That's card 38. Three and eight is 11. New beginnings are all around you, Aries. Everything is going to start to lead you in a magical new direction. But you must stay true to your sacred self. And I want to feel, I'm going to repeat, follow the energies that are about to come your way. They're taking you somewhere where you need to be. Things are about to come together for you in all the right energies with the heart. That everything is being watched and divinely guided for you to nurture the things that you truly want for a bigger and better you and a bigger and better tomorrow. Lion's Gate is here for a reason. I'm preaching today. So love yourself. Love the things that you want. Look at the things in your life right now that are leading you in negative aspects and look at the positive of it, knowing that you became a bigger and better person from it. And you're still growing every day. My spirit guides are telling me you're about to be led somewhere. You're going to be venturing into the unknown, trusting yourself, trusting the things that are being shown to you. And my guides want me to tell you that everything is going to be wide open for your own manifestations. But it's in how you do it, which you're going to create. And everything is here for you to create the life that you want. Just believe in your own belief system. Be true to thyself and nurture everything with love. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm telling you, we're all being tested right now. I just know it. I feel it. I just feel like you're being watched, how you nurture those eggs. Because you are the great manifestors. Do it every day with love, gratitude, and watch what you receive from the universe. Beautiful reading today. I couldn't put it together better myself, but, you know, I had a little help here. You know, and I feel that the dragon is about to come out of the cave and you're about to go after the things in life that you want. But once again, the rescue card has somebody watching you from a hot air balloon with a telescope. How is Aries going to handle something new? How are you going to go after the things in life that you truly want the right way? How are you going to do it? With wisdom, with passion, with fire, you know? telling me that you can create whatever life you want because the dragon to me is the mystical creature of making things happen with wisdom and passion. 
that everything is in your hands to create the life you want. But once again, you're being watched. We're all being watched. I know we are. I'm watching my actions every day very carefully. I'm walking on a tightrope. Now, let's get some spirit guide messages for you. I'm going to go right here. I don't even know why, but I'm going here. I don't know why. I have the Seven of Wands. That's a card about claiming your personal power. Making sure everything in your life is done the right way with justice, karmic justice. Making sure that every step you take, everything is done the right way. We all know the difference between right and wrong. There's something new and solid that's about to be given to you. It's going to take you places if you trust your own intuition. The chariot is ruled by intuition, will, and determination. It knows when to go and knows when to stop. It's going to lead you, it's going to lead you down victory and success for massive change in your life. All right, I'll get some messages now. I'm going to do one shuffle for Aries. If you can tell Aries any messages today about this reading. I just saw these two cards, and they, like, just clicked, you guys. I'm sorry. I just said look, and I looked. How you nurture everything in the next few weeks is going to create everything in being open for what you want to come into fruition for tomorrow. And when I say tomorrow, I mean the very near future. Spirit guides, messages. You must go after everything that you want for new things with your heart. The Knight of Love with the Page of Wands. You know, love is the greatest gift of all. And sometimes we get pulled in different directions, confused about love. Well, what is love? Love is what is we what, being true to thyself that we genuinely want for our own happiness. Not the things in life that hurt us or hurt other people. It's about the happiness of all mankind and for a, a higher level of love. Spirit guides messages for Aries about this reading today. You can give Aries oh, some messages today. Thank you for the sign of Aries. What do you want to tell Aries today, please? Thank you, Spirit guides. Anything else for the sign of Aries? Hmm. Anything else? Thank you. I had a feeling there's a few more. Okay, you guys, the sun is under the deck. Oh, pardon me. Three of swords is to my right. Anybody else? I don't see any. Optimism. Four of pentacles, seven of swords, and the knight of love. Spirit guys are telling me that your own sense of optimism is going to get you through anything in life that you may feel blocked. The Seven of Swords is deceit, betrayal, lies, strategy. I feel my spirit guides are telling me as long as you stay in the sun, it's going to lead you into the right direction. Follow your heart. Make sure everything you do is one sure steady foot at a time. Very brave knight of earth. Everything that you truly want is waiting there for you for your Ten of Pentacles. It's about your hard work, your diligence, knowing what you deserve in life. Just have a little patience and trust the unknown. Oh my goodness. Patience again with Aries. Okay, I see you. There's a message here for you. The Queen of Love, Page of Wands, new eager excitement, new adventures, and something golden and solid is waiting here for you, Aries. But the Queen of Love is with this, telling me that if you must be open to everything with a divine love. The queen of love has no dislike, no hate, no bitterness. It's pure love, you guys. It's being open to everything with love, letting things go from the past with love and understanding. I feel my guides are telling me that everything is here for you for new golden beginnings, new solid starts. If that's the best it's we can get. And this is all about you going on new ventures, getting excited about new things, but you must do it with your heart. Crossroads. Choices and destiny, being a success. I'll leave these two here. You guys, the King of Pentacles is showing up, and it's a very methodical king. It's telling me if you really want to be a success at something, you got to be diligent, put the work into it, because this is Taurus energy. You know, it's the bull, meaning that that king doesn't give up just because it didn't win last time, it thinks of something new. That everything is in your hands to change parts of your destiny. The only time we can come at a crossroads is when we don't see something that we need to find a compromise with for a bigger and better us for tomorrow. That if you really want something in life to become a success, there's a part of you that needs to go. And there's a part of you that needs to reconnect with for harmony. 
The world is here telling me that old cycles are over and new chapters are now here to begin. That it's time for you to release certain situations that have hurt you, that have wounded you. It's not serving you anymore. You've been through something that perhaps may have touched your heart, hurt your heart. But my spirit guides are telling me, did it not make you a bigger and better person? Those cycles are over. Now it's time for you to be open for everything with new love. Release the past with love. I do this every day. I live this. I've, I've lived it. It's not something that you just happens overnight. It's continuously things coming up from the past. And I look at it and say, you know what? I hope, you know, I just wish them love. It doesn't matter what, what they did to me. It doesn't matter what they did to other people. I love myself and I'm open to everything new with love. Spirit guides are telling me there's something coming your way for golden new opportunities, for solid new beginnings. you got to stop looking at the past and the things that have hurt you. It's a time for you now to understand that everything in your life is about patience and knowing that everything served a purpose. They're showing you that as long as you go after what you truly want in life, one sure steady foot at a time, slow and steady wins the race. But the Queen of Earth is a very nurturing queen. That everything that you want is in your hands as long as you go after it with your heart. It's the brave knight of love. The brave heart. That the only time you could ever feel obstacles is when you don't believe in optimism. And that everything in your life is here for abundant new beginnings, new chapters. But it's about your choice, your destiny, and reconnecting with yourself again for harmony. We all have free will. And I feel my spirit guides are telling me everything is here for you for your ultimate stability, Aries. New opportunities of abundance, but how you go about doing things and is in how you change your perspective on what you truly want in life. And you need to go after everything. One sure steady foot with a brave heart. Stay in the power of optimism. Keep your ambitious plans. Everything is flowing in the right direction for abundant new chapters. But do it in the right way. Do it as the queen of love would. Pure divine love. And I cannot express to you about love as the greatest gift of all because it is. It makes us bigger. It makes us better. It makes us stronger. And as soon as we learn to release things with love, tragic things happen to people every day. And that is the biggest test of all. Letting it go with love. Forgiving it with love. And loving yourself. And being open to everything new with love. And watch what you receive because it's waiting here for you. Beautiful reading today, Aries. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You guys, I always have messages for certain people. I still feel like there's a card. I don't know why. I don't see one though, you guys. So if one flew behind me, I apologize. But let's get some angel cards for you, okay? Um, underneath the deck is the magician. What you, oh, you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. Okay, I'm gonna, you guys, I'm gonna put this right in the center of the deck. You see it, right? Because I am not a magician. I'm gonna put it right here. Spirit guides, I'd love some angel cards for Aries today, please. Three to four cards from the master angels. Let's see what pops out. What they have to say to you, Aries. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do one shuffle for Aries today, please. Thank you. Angel cards for Aries. Three to four cards. If you can give Aries any angel cards today, what would you like to give the sign of Aries? Thank you. Thank you. One more, perhaps. Thank you. <gasps> they, gave you a, they gave you a lot. Underneath the deck is the Knight of Ariel. That is the Knight of Earth. It is right here. All right. Here we go. I'm going to read these to you. Ready or not, here they come. And then I'll roll into Love Crossing. <gasps> there is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. You are being watched over by someone kind. It says that because they gave you the wheel and new beginnings. Come on, Aries. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. 
I'm stopping there. I'm so, I can keep going. Okay, you guys, first card to my left is the eight of Gabriel. Love the number eight. Lion's Gate. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. And I feel my spirit guides are telling me there's going to be things shown to you that they want you to follow. You're going to hear more things. You're going to be in tune with things. Be open to it. You know how sometimes you hear a song and like one verse I hitch kind of hard? It's because you're meant to hear that verse. Or somebody keeps saying something to you over and over from different people and you're like, what? what is it? Isn't that odd? There's no such thing as coincidence. Okay, they gave you the Queen of Ariel. They gave you a lot of cards today because they love talking to you every time. I've seen the Queen of Pentacles, but okay. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful practical and wise advice i heard nurture angel michael has shown up angel michael has given you three of michael i saw the three of swords in your messages that's what angel michael has to say to you release the past you will grow from this situation time heals all wounds thank you angel michael you guys got my one of my favorite cards the star you guys got the star and the wheel come on I have not got I have not gotten these two in my reading ever I don't think together a dream come true believe in yourself the end of difficult situations remember a dream come true believe in them all right you got I got the four of Ariel, and then I have one card left just for you, and I find it rather coincidental. Hmm. When you give, you also receive. Be in resistance to change. Extremes and how you save or spend money. I feel it's just extremes. Because the last card they gave you, the Ace of Ariel. It's the Ace of Earth. Hmm. It's your lucky day, Aries. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in your life for promotion. It says a change in job or promotion, but it's your life. Everything is leading you in the, in the right direction, but remember to follow the energies one slow, steady foot at a time. You guys, you guys got the wheel and the star. I'm a little jealous, but in a beautiful way. I'm very happy for you. And it's very rare I see these two cards together because that is of beauty and magnificence. You're being watched over by someone kind. Watch everything that you do right now and do it with your heart and watch the wheel move in your direction and push you in a whole new one. It's the end of difficult situations. Beautiful reading today. God bless you, Aries. That was just beautiful. All right, you guys, thank you for viewing me. I hope this reading helped you today. You know, much love and light to everyone. I'm rolling into Love Crossing. I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. You are so good to me. Thank you. I love all your comments. I read them all. I wish you all much love, peace, happiness, everything you want in life for the betterment of yourself and mankind. Blessings to you all. Thank you. Now, for those of you dealing with somebody, I'm going to look at Love Crossing. So if you're in happy unions, just not dealing with anyone right now, uh, they're going to be for the people going through something with someone. So thank you, you guys. Have a blessed Friday, a beautiful weekend, and an amazing next few weeks. Thank you. Now, for the beautiful Aries out there dealing with somebody, I'm going to grab one deck, drink of water. Love crossing. These may or may not be all your persons, you guys, and I go by how I feel in the cards. I'm using the Everyday Witch today. I don't know why, but this is where I want to go. Yeah. I got the fool. Now, so, <laughs> wow, somebody's willing to take a leap of faith with you. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune. Someone's taking a big chance here, Aries. This is their current energies. These may or may not be your persons, but I feel somebody here wants to take a big chance with you. They're, they're going to let something here roll and hope it lands on the right one, which is the heart. Six of Cups, the Magician, and the Star. Wow, Aries. Uh, with somebody feels or somebody here who keeps getting stuck in a position that's still toxic for them. This person's willing to fight for you though, Aries. I feel this person loves you immensely. 
Um, I don't know who this is, but this is somebody who wants to take a leap of faith towards you and take a chance. But the devil with the hanging man is someone who is trying to make a choice about something here with you to start over. But they feel there's something here that is very toxic that's leaving them in a stuck position. Spirit guides, love crossing energies. My Aries have been dealing with. Let's see. Love crossing. Strongest. Thank you. Hmm. For the sign of Aries. Strongest love crossing. Thank you. What do I need to see? Love crossing for the sign of Aries. Thank, thank you. Anything else? No, you never know. No one's going to pop out, though. That's apparently in reverse. Okay, who's under the deck? The Hierophant. This person wants a bigger level of commitment. But I got the hanging man with the devil. Now, I'm pretty sure I shuffled. They want to take a leap of faith. They're having a heart. They want to move something here forward with you, Aries. But they feel like their back's always up against the tree. Well, this person... Um, you know, the Hierophant is a card of marriage, a card of uh, a higher level of commitment. But it's with the hanging man, which is Pisces energy. And now, I don't go by signs. I just don't. But whoever this is just feels that there's something blocking here, something between the two of you to get to a higher level of commitment. And even though they're stuck on their perspective of something, this person's holding out for something bigger and better. They want something more from you. But they feel taking a leap towards you is like taking a leap towards the devil. And I don't mean you're the devil. They mean something here is toxic. They feel something between, like either you're caught up in something toxic or they feel that they got to get away from something toxic. Something in that, something in that nature. Six of cups is sideways. I have the seven of wands. Fighting for this connection, huh? And the ace of pentacles. That's beautiful ultimate happiness you guys i don't know what's going on i have two cards left and they're both in reverse i can see it but this person really feels that something here is already set in motion that they really want something bigger and better from you aries but unfortunately whoever this is feels that there's something here that is very toxic and i don't know whether it's on your part or their part part and they just want to get away from it they want to take a leap of faith i feel this person loves you immensely and they're willing to fight for it they feel that there's something between the two of you that is just absolutely just like the Ace of Pentacles to me is the best relationship. The Six of Cups is telling me this person feels that this connection is just they can't they can't break away. Now, if this is someone who did you dirty and you don't want them back, I don't need to tell you what to do. All right, what do we have here? I got Scorpio transformation in reverse and I have the lovers in reverse. There it is right there. This person feels that there's something between the two of you that you are their destiny. But there's something between the two of you that they feel needs to be transformed. That they're waiting for it. They're willing to wait for it. The only thing that they feel disconnected from is wondering if something here can change. That they want something between the two of you so badly that they're willing to wait for it. But unfortunately, they really are starting to get tired here, I feel. They really feel like everything they set into motion is always blocked. They want to communicate to you about it, Aries. They feel that there's something here blocking something between the two of you for coming together. They want to nurture something here with you. This is their current energies. I don't like to see the lovers in Scorpio in reverse in their energies. They just feel that something here is toxic. Because I have the devil. You know, and I have what the fool. I got a lot of major arcanas. And I just feel that this person knows that in order to reconnect, because, you know, the lovers to me in reverse is someone who feels that I don't know whose side it's on because this is a very general reading. I ask for the strongest energies and it could be the way they feel or something that's in their life. They feel something between the two of you is already destined, already written, but something needs to go. Something needs to, to just shed off so the two of you can reconnect together for a golden new beginning because this is what they really want in their current energies. They're willing to nurture it though. They're, they really want this with you, Aries. Mm. Let's look at their intentions now. Listen, you guys, we all go through battles. We all go through choices in life. Everybody has free will. That's what the human form is made of. Free will, spirit, ego, desires. But when our soul is truly connected to someone, this is where the growing begins with love. This person wants something that's just beautiful between the two of you, and they're willing to take a leap of faith with it, but there's something between the two of you that they feel is toxic. All right, I don't know what it is. Let's look at their intentions. 
<sighs> strongest intent. I see that fly. I got the moon. Very unsure about something here. Five of cups, page of wands, something at a distance, and someone who wants to nurture and invest in something here with you. With our ultimate happiness. Aries, what's going on here? This person really wants to get over a hump here. And, you know, the five of cups to me always represents like a junkyard of just sadness. But the moon is like such a foggy energy. It's like they've got to face their fears and grow stronger. And they're hoping that the two of you can nurture something here. They're eager. They want to get something started. Their intentions for the next few weeks, they're coming in. I feel, I feel this person's going to lay all their cards on the table with you. It's like they're going to, they've been nurturing it. And I feel whoever this is wants this to come into fruition. They're tired of being in the fog about something here with you. They want to know and they want to know fast. And Mercury retrograde always brings things out that, let's just see. I love crossing intentions towards Aries. Next few weeks, mm, they're going to talk to you. What would you like to show me? Love crossing intentions. Thank you. Towards the sign of Aries. Yes. This person's laying all their cards on the table. I already feel it. I already know it. I haven't seen the cards. Seven of Pentacles. Someone who wants to invest in this with you, Aries. Three of Pentacles. They want to build something from scratch with you, Aries. Their ultimate happiness. They want to... They want you guys, this is the Six of Cups. It's like this is someone who's coming forth. And I'm going to tell you why. Because they feel you two, I was going to say it, but it's already here, are a magic fit. Now, the Queen and King of Pentacles is someone who feels that you two make a great couple. This person is coming forth. The Page of Swords is the thinker, the watcher, new communication. You're their wish. They're tired of feeling as if something here is always in limbo. They're coming in and they're coming in fast, the Knight of Wands. And they're eager to get something here started and they don't want anything to block you to anymore. They are not going to allow it. I can feel it. I got the beautiful Hermit. Love the Hermit. Oh, I already did these cards. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, who's this? Oh, here they come. I'm telling you. Eight of Cups and the Moon. But you see, I have an Ace. It's a big ace. It's a passionate ace. They want to ignite something with you, but first they feel there's something between the two of you that needs to come out on the table. They're tired of feeling that there's something hidden here. I have the devil, I have strength and courage, and I have the king of truth. This person is going to open up a door with communication, truth, integrity. They're tired of feeling that something here is toxic between the two of you. This person has an immense amount of strength and courage to set something right. I'm telling you, because here comes the night of earth. You guys, it's a brave night, but it's a very structured night. It's like one, it's like one steady foot at a time. This person is not fearing anything anymore because I have two knights in their energy and I have it with the king of truth. And I feel this person's coming in to get something straight. And I have the big major arcana strength and courage and it's with the devil. Uh, you know, this person is just ready to face the demon, face the battle. They want to know because here comes the crossroads. This person wants to get the blindfold off. They don't want to be able to compromise anymore about making things right because here comes the six of swords and it's someone who wants to get to the light at the end of the tunnel. They want to set something straight. You guys, I don't know who this is, but it's someone who's coming in to get something ignited and they are not giving up. They're either going to have their answer or they're not. And if they don't have the answer that they want and feel that something here can't be built from scratch, they're probably going to turn around and go in a new direction. I'm letting you know, this person wants to set something right with you. You know, I just feel that this person is feeling as if there's something between the two of you that is just unhealthy that perhaps they keep going back to or you keep going back to. But these are two brave knights. They don't back down to a challenge. And I have beautiful strength and courage. You ain't stopping this person. This person's coming forth. It's tired of being at a crossroads because they feel you're the one. I feel that whoever you've been dealing with, that's beautiful Virgo energy, but this person's been doing a lot of inner work about their own inner light and happiness, and they're ready to invest and build something from scratch, and they want you for their ultimate happiness. They're making their mind up. They're coming in. Let's see what happens. I don't know. You know, it could be a Capricorn, but 
the devil represents a lot of things to me, but when I see strength and courage next to it, and I see the king of swords with two brave knights, you guys, nothing's blocking this person, and they're coming in with a lot of wisdom, a lot of inner light, and they want to have some answers. They want to find their answers. They're tired of feeling in limbo with you. They want to build from scratch. They're going to invest. You guys watch. Let's see what happens in the next few weeks. Because I had two sixes here. I got the six of cups with the six of swords. Somebody is moving in. Somebody's turning the boat around to come towards you. And I feel, you know, they're making their mind up about something and they want to know. Are you invested, Aries, or are you not? They're tired of feeling in limbo here. What you do with it is up to you. I don't get involved in those things. Because you've got the star on the wheel. And now I'm a little jealous. But remember, your actions are being watched. Nurture everything with love and kindness. And watch the things that you're about to harvest in the very near future. All right, you guys. Love and blessings to you all. Much love and light. Have a blessed Friday. An amazing weekend. A beautiful next few weeks. Thank you for viewing me. And I will see you next time.